680 News business editor Richard Southern joins us now. And Richard, the Donald Trump presidency could trigger an economic disaster on this side of the border. Well, it could be absolutely devastating to the Canadian auto market if Trump gets his way. The Trump transition team today was floating the possibility of a 10% tariff on imports into the United States. Uh, indeed, that could really hammer the Canadian economy hard, particularly the auto sector, because 85% of the vehicles built here in Canada, many of which are uh, in southern Ontario, are exported. So this would uh, be a major factor uh, for the Canadian auto sector. And it looks like Ford Motor Company may have already responded to the possibility of trade tariffs. Ford has announced it is canceling a new $1.6 billion plan in Mexico. Instead, the company will invest $700 million in its Michigan plant in Flat Rock. And uh, there it will produce electrified and autonomous vehicles, plus the Ford Mustang and Lincoln Continental. Ford Motor stock higher on that announcement today. All right, meantime, now the latest on the Hatchable debacle. Remember, these Hatchables were the hottest toy this past Christmas. It was an animatronic toy that came in a plastic egg. Kids had to play with the egg to get the toy to hatch. Only problem was that some didn't hatch, and that left kids devastated on uh, Christmas morning. Uh, Hatchables are made by Toronto-based Spinmaster Toys. Uh, the company wouldn't tell me how many of the toys are defective, but it did provide me a new statement, and it reads, uh, quote, we have increased our customer care team to assist with calls and emails and extended our hours to respond to consumers quickly. Our goal is to respond to inquiries within 72 hours, and if we cannot find a solution, we will ship a replacement Hatchable within two days. The company has also released this, a how-to video, because it's believed a number of the uh, problem hatchables aren't defective, but simply just haven't been used properly. This, of course, could all prove costly to Spin Master Toys, and we've seen investors react. The stock has been lower since the Christmas period. All right, next, a story that really highlights the growing divide between the middle class and the rich here in Canada. A new report finds that Canadian CEOs made as much as the average Canadian will in the entire year of 2017 by just before noon this morning. CEO is making the average full-time Canadian wage by 11.47 a.m. this morning. The average CEO, according to the Canadian Centre for Policy Alternatives, pulls in 9.5 million, 193 times the average Canadian wage. Well, you'll be needing to make a CEO salary to afford to fill up the tank here in Toronto. How about these gas prices? They've gone way up. We're paying about 12 cents a litre more today than we were before Christmas. And this largely because of the uh, new uh, tax that has went into effect here in Ontario. The province's new cap and trade fees have added to the cost of petrol. Now, the price not expected to change tonight. It's going to hold near $1.16.9 a litre. Certainly, though, we have the potential for oil to continue to rise throughout the balance of the week. What with oil price? Is taking off. Price of crude hitting an 18 month high today. Meantime, some news on Disney. The company, it seems, is set to receive a big payout because of the death of Carrie Fisher. Uh, reports say that Disney could receive 50 million U.S. dollars. It would be the largest personal accident claim in history, one of them, anyways. Disney bought the insurance policy from Lloyd's of London in the event that Fisher was unable to fulfill her three film contract. Finally, some uh, offbeat tech news for you. There's a new gadget about to hit the market that will let you send your long-distance lover a smooch. It's called a Kissinger, and it's a device that plugs in to your iPhone. It senses the type of kiss you're giving it, and it sends that kiss to your lover wherever he or she may be. Globally, no word on the price yet. They're not kissing and telling on that.